Hi Capricorn, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Welcome back to Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. Thank you guys for all of your love. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your likes, comments, and subscribes. Thank you guys so much. I really want to thank you because you guys' support helps me be here as often as I am. I do tarot full-time. So, welcome new viewers and subscribers. This is going to be for Capricorn. What do people think of you? How do people view you? What do people think about you? What do people say about you? How do people view you? Ancestors and guides, give me clear on this message is for Capricorn. Protect me as I go within the tarot. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. All right. This is general. Flip the rows and reverse them. It may be how you feel or how your brother, sister, lover, mom, dad, husband, co-worker, friend feels. Okay. This is for Capricorn. Anyone with Capricorn in their chart, flip the roll and reverse them if you're cross-watching. If I say a word or phrase and the word or phrase resonates but the storyline doesn't, just take the word or phrase. If the storyline resonates but the word or phrase doesn't resonate, just take the storyline. The whole storyline may not resonate. Bits and pieces do. You will know if it's your story. Book a personal reading with me. Follow me on all my social media. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a donation. Um, follow me on my second channel, Dark Goddess. Okay, people say you need to chill out, Capricorn. You need to chill out. Rest and rejuvenate is reverse. Okay, rest and rejuvenate. You need to take some time out to yourself so they see you as very busy, a very busy body. All right, how do people view Capricorn? You probably need to pray more. People are like Capricorn, pray more, meditate more, get to yourself more. going to say there's no way not one card comes out we have woman holding a heart it came out crossing so what you doing with that heart capricorn are you using it are you letting people love you this is 44 4 4 breaks down to an 8 are you letting people love you are you lovable this is woman holding a heart so this is a feminine energy okay maybe you're needing more love maybe your heart chakra is blocked I cut this shit down before I, I cut this shit down every time like right before I do my readings but every time I start my readings the volume turns up for some damn reason I don't know maybe you need to hear this message okay rain down on me let your love fall just like raindrops is what they're saying rain on me okay what do people want to say to you how do people view you this is you accepting love you need to be open to love. Maybe if you got some rest and rejuvenation, prayed and meditated, aligned your chakras, you'd be able to receive this. Okay, what is Capricorn going to be hearing? What do people want to say to Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? And it's actually raining right now. I'm becoming a better person, Capricorn. You need to know this. I am becoming a better person, Capricorn. Someone's going to tell you this, or this is how someone's feeling. This is what someone wants to tell you. Okay, you got a lot coming out. It's time for me to heal now. Yeah. It's time for me to heal because I lost myself for a little while. And I want to feel that way again. That's why I'm becoming a better person. I want to feel that way again. I want to feel that way again. Okay? I want to be excited for love. I want to be eager to date. I want to be eager to get dressed up and go out and look cute or get handsome and be excited to speak with someone, be excited to see someone, just be excited in general. That's why it's time for me to heal now because I've lost myself for a little while. I'm becoming a better person, so I, I want to feel that way again. So this could all be how you feel, but there's a feminine energy wanting to extend their heart their feelings and emotions to you capricorn so this is how people view you okay people view you as maybe you need some love you need love maybe they view you as wanting to give love they view you as capricorn always has someone trying to love on them maybe like <coughs> excuse me I get people babying you, Capricorn. I don't know why people would baby you, but that's the energy I'm getting. Like, people baby you. Like, 
just Capricorn just needs a hug right now. Capricorn just needs some love right now. Capricorn is stressed. So people view you like that. The rest and rejuvenation came out reverse. So you probably need some time to listen to your intuition. Maybe you just got out of a situation. So Capricorn, people view you as Capricorn is able to get in and out of certain situations. And depending on whether they get in or out of that situation is how they feel emotionally. Um, it affects their relationships as well. So maybe you just got out of something and you're saying, I lost myself in that. People view you as losing yourself sometimes in certain situations. They see you wanting to become a better person. They see that this feminine energy, whether it's you or someone loving you, is making it helping you realize that you want to feel a certain way. People, everyone sees it except you, Capricorn. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. People view you as defeated. Defeated in love. You're mean. You're bitchy. You don't have time for it. If we're not talking about money, then I don't want to talk to you. Okay, you're realizing that that's no fun. You want to have some fun in life. You want to have love. You want to experience a relationship. You want to feel that way again. Okay, there are some things you have to put down. People see that. Capricorn always has too much on their plate. They're too busy to date. Capricorn is a pretty girl. She's just always so busy and a little mean. Capricorn is a handsome man, but he's mean. I get this energy. People think you're mean, but that's not true at all. Capricorns are not mean. They're just all about their business. And to be honest, Capricorns are funny than a bitch. Capricorns are funny as hell, okay? You can depend on a Capricorn to make you laugh. But it, <laughs> uh, you wouldn't be able to tell with the Queen of Swords. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Clarify this Ten of Swords, this ending for Capricorn. You're always going through major endings. You always invest. Sometimes Capricorn invests in things for too long. Capricorn doesn't know how to let things go. Okay, because sometimes Capricorn is like, I have it. I can do it. Yes, yes. Give me give me everything. Just put everything on me. I'll do it. I'll hold I'll hold the whole team. I'll hold the whole company. I can do it by myself solo. Gemini energy. All right. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. People could view you as well, Capricorn. As Capricorn, like, I don't know who is saying this. Capricorn always makes people go off on them. You made them go off on you, Capricorn, with your mean ass or your rude ass. Like, I don't know who's saying that, but people think that it's something. You always do something to make people go off on you. Okay, it could be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or your boss. Like Capricorn is always being cussed out by somebody or always being cussed out by their boss. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Eight of Wands. Communication. So you're the one people go through to talk. So if like in your job, if your boss or the company or somebody has to give someone bad news, they make you give them the bad news. Capricorn is always the one, like, they always ask Capricorn, can you tell them this for me? Like, and Capricorn is like, all right, I'll do it. Or Capricorn is like, I'll tell them that's easy. Sorry, you're fired. Or sorry, we didn't go with you in the company. Or sorry, your hair is fucked up. Like, Capricorn is the one to say some shit, okay? Capricorn is the one. Let me make sure my hair is fine now. <laughs> Capricorn is the one. Don't fuck with Capricorn. They'll tell you. Yes, they will. They'll tell you all the hard things that nobody wants to tell you. That's how people view you. Okay? Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Capricorn. I saw the King of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Capricorn. The Knight of Swords. Yeah. So, a lot of times, Capricorn, you're like, the CEO or you're the trainer of the group like when you have when your company hires new people you're the one training the new people like Capricorn is like I'm not communicating with anybody if it's not about money so you're showing people how to make money as well Capricorn is the one people look up to on if they want to learn how to make money clarify the tower 
clarify the tower for Capricorn. The Ace of Swords. We have a lot of swords. Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords. What are you saying? Capricorn talks a lot or people always talk to you. And so, so you're going to get some shocking information. Like I said, Capricorn is all, the one to make big decisions. Or Capricorn is always the one to give the harsh communication that no one else is courageous enough to give. Capricorn is the one to do it. Okay, could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You could be Sagittarius Capricorn cusp first. Clarify the Page of Cups. It's about to come out. The Emperor again. Okay. Okay, people view you as fatherly every time. Pe like, every time you meet people, people always call you like Daddy Capricorn or God Daddy Capricorn. Or, like, you're everyone's God Dad. You're everyone's dad. Like, every time. Even if you're young. <laughs> Even if you're young, clarify the two of cups. Oh, Lord, the Empress. We got the Emperor and the Empress out here. Capricorn is the one. Capricorn is the one you want to get married to. That's how people see you. If you want to get married and be and live a good life and have a stable life and not worry about anything else for the rest of your life, marry a Capricorn. Capricorn will make sure that. You are doing well, and they are doing well. The Empress clarified the Two of Cups. Capricorn only falls in love with people on their level, is how people view you. People think that you think that you're too good for other people. Like, that's why you don't date around. People are like, Capricorn, get out there and date. And Capricorn is like, uh, are they a business owner like me? And everybody's like, not everybody's going to be a damn business owner. And Capricorn is like, well, I'm not dating them if they're not a business owner. Like, <laughs> like they have to be on the same level as you, Capricorn. Okay, well, we have the Empress coming out. So they see that this Empress and this woman holding the heart. You in love. This is how people see you. You in love with somebody. This is for October. So in October, this is how people are seeing you. Probably finally meeting that empress or finally meeting that emperor. But for now, it says I'm, it's time for me to heal now. I lost myself for a little while. I'm becoming a better person. I want to feel that way again. So this could be your student, your child. Could be your even your teacher or mentor, your boss, your brother or sister. Someone wants to feel that way again. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to pull um from this deck. I want to see how people view you and what people like about you sexually, what people like to receive from you sexually, what you like to receive from other people sexually. This is what people may want to do to you sexually, okay? Let's see. I hear, how do you want it? How do you feel? Okay. All right. Give me some messages for Capricorn for October 2021. This card flipped right over. It says, I'm not letting you leave me again. I'm not doing it. If you thought I was finna let you leave me again, oh, you got another motherfucking thing coming. You ain't leaving me again. It says, I want to put my tongue in it. This is how people want to do you. This is how people want you to do them. This may be what you want. Okay? I'm not letting you leave me again. So just sit your ass down and stay right there. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Okay? We have STD. Go get checked. This may not be for all of you. This may be, you know, uh, your brother or sister have an STD scare. Maybe your person's brother or sister has an STD scare. I don't fucking know. Just go get checked. Okay? intentional pregnancy slash abortion y'all what y'all wrap it up people view you as you don't wrap it up and you need to okay we got i need an outlet so you don't you need to find ways on how to transmute some of your energy and you probably do it through work it says i tempt you on purpose so somebody tempts you on purpose. 
somebody gets all sexy or somebody gets mad on purpose and be like, come over here or whatever. I don't fucking know what they saying. I don't know what they saying. It could be a cancer. Okay. Somebody has a foot fetish. I spell your name when I write it. Capricorn spells their name when they write it. Someone wants you to spell your name or spell their name when you writing it. You want to spell somebody's name. It could be a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So we got Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I didn't mean for it to go this far. So somebody's like, I didn't mean for it to go this far. All right. I don't know what somebody could have did. Probably this person who needed an outlet or somebody out here tempting you or this intentional pregnancy, this crazy ass person who says, I'm not letting you go again. I'm not letting you get away again. Sex is always on my mind. Sex is always on your mind. Sex is always on their mind. It's the booty for me. So somebody is a booty fanatic. Whether you got a big booty or small booty. I want to come inside you. Someone wants to come inside you. Someone wants you to come inside them. Okay. Someone could be in love with someone else. Okay. Could be this Gemini who's in love with someone else. This Gemini who, where sex is always on their mind. So watch out for this Gemini. Okay. They could be uncircumcised. That uncircumcised Philistine. Do not touch the accursed thing. Okay, that's what my grandma says. Do not touch the accursed thing. My grandma's an Aries. Okay, you make me feel like a woman. You make me feel like such a man. Okay, you make me feel like a natural woman. I want to be yours. Okay. This is all I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you guys so much for coming back. If this video entertained you in any way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you got a good message or a good laugh, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, stay tuned. Check out all your other readings. Y'all be safe. I love y'all and bye-bye.